Hey everyone, welcome into my channel. So today we are hitting the road. We're going to go thrifting together. I'm going to meet up with Roger in Lancaster's Goodwill on Route 30. We're also going to pull shipping together. This is the shipping of the solds from Friday to Sunday afternoon. So figure about Friday afternoon to Sunday afternoon. Shipping was good. Solds were good. And that's what we're going to do together in my basement. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get on the road. Let's see what we find to flip for a profit. Okay, I have picked the brown aisle because I am in a brown aisle mood. The shelves look good today, just upon first inspection. Oh, I should know this. Marry somebody? Hmm. Sometimes I look at artwork and I feel like I know the artist in my head, but I just don't. <laughs> I want to know the artist. Oh, these are interesting. Are they plaques? What are these? They're stuck together. Oh, they're taped together. Oh, good. Well, look at that though. Velvet backs. All right. Don't tell anybody I'm peeling the velvet back. I want to see what the artwork is. Oh, this is going to pull off the paint. Urgh. All right. Let's see if I can do this without. Oh, they might be hot plates, do we think? I kind of like these guys, $4.99. Hmm. All right, I think I'm putting these in the cart. I don't know that I'm even gonna be able to run a comp on those, and I will check them to make sure the tape hasn't done any damage, but that is item number one going in. I am in the mood, I'm gonna be throwing everything in the cart. Okay, what is this? Oh, just a plastic relief design. Oh, it's tin. It's metal. It tricked me. Okay. Huh. Doesn't seem to be signed. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Oh, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I want all the comfort. Oh, these are temptations. I have not seen these little plates. Okay, these are kind of cute. Boy, you can tell we're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, can't you? Do I want these? They are so well done and so funny. Oh, who's going to want these? What would we do with these? I don't know. I must be crazy. See, but they're $4 each, so now I'm paying $8. I think if it was $4 for the two, I would take them. And I don't know who would want them. All right, I'm walking away. Although I really want them. <laughs> Oh, these baskets are very interesting. What have we got here? Oh, okay, too big to ship. USPS has um, added a surcharge to items that are long. $5. I am not quite sure what people store in these. I don't think it would be glassware. Interesting. Up, oh, we have found a bag of knobs. They look to be a little dirty. Do I want to be scrubbing knobs? Probably not, but for $7, I'm going to grab those. And I'm also seeing this little wood thing. I don't know what this is. $2.99. I'm going to grab that with one finger. Let's see if I can bring this over to my cart. Okay, I think this might be either for letters on a desk, so it's a letter holder, or you could even use it as a rolls basket. Okay, I kind of like this. I'm gonna pop this in the cart, and I do have to examine it closer for damage, but we're gonna put that in the cart too. Okay, just can't bear leaving this behind. Just a little souvenir, Jerusalem. I'm not sure what people would store in that. Again, maybe some bills. Does anybody use paper billing anymore? I do. <laughs> I'm going to grab this and put this in my cart. We have quite the mix going on. All right, and I'm also going to take a look at these bookends. Okay, so we have two, I think they're alabaster, maybe onyx. Two of the beige and brown, and then two of the white. Roger is on his way, so his eyesight is just a lot better than mine. And I'm going to grab both of these, and he will help me check for chips. I don't see any right now, but 
He always, he always tells me when my items have chips or flaws. All right, putting both of these in my cart. Okay, I have not moved three feet. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Now the sticker says $110.95. It was on sale. Goodwill wants $15. Ooh, it's heavy. Wonder who originally made this. I'm thinking this might have been Pier 1. Let me put it this way. Okay, to ship this will be a real thing, but I think this would be you know, a good seller. All right, I'm gonna walk away, but if anybody wants this, this is Lancaster Route 30. Goodwill. Putting that one back, cause it's too big for me. Okay, on the bottom shelf, I am spotting this mail sorter. This is really nicely made. Oh, Pottery Barn, doesn't that figure? I don't know that anybody's gonna want this though. Is anybody sorting their mail anymore? Hmm, it's got a little bit of wear to the edges. What does Goodwill want for it? Oh, $10, that's a little high. By the time the buyer pays shipping, mm, I don't know that they're gonna wanna pay shipping on this. I'm gonna guess if, I'm in Pennsylvania. If they're in California, this is gonna cost them over $25 to ship. Now maybe UPS would be a little bit different, but is somebody gonna wanna pay like $30 plus whatever I need to make in profit? All right, I think I'm leaving this one on the shelf. This little pot is catching my attention. Who made this little pot? Made in China. China made it. <laughs> so cute. All right, you know what I love? I love when I'm looking at items. Oh, and I tell you guys like, oh, I'm gonna leave that on the shelf. I love when another shopper comes up right behind me and takes my the thing I was looking at, not my thing, but the thing I was looking at, because then it makes me like feel confirmed that what I wanted or liked, somebody else liked right after me. And I love that other people are finding things that they love too. Okay, this is a nut bowl, I know that. See that? It's the picks and the nutcrackers that go in there. I don't know that that many people wanna keep nuts in a bowl. But okay, the other side of the brown aisle. I would love to go to a thrift store where all the aisles were brown. That would be my dream. Oh, okay, this is very cool. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, I would need several of them. Okay. Right now at home, I'm not too far behind in listing. You guys know me. I am not about death piles, but truth be told, I still have Christmas stuff to get on, but it doesn't worry me because Christmas sells all year long. Oh, this is cute. Old Salem Broom Company. Ah, oh, cute, cute. $6.99. Up, oh, it's Ashland. Okay, we're gonna leave that behind, but that's very cute for Halloween. Oh, what is all of this business going on here? They are collapsible boxes, storage boxes. Quite heavy. There is always so much to see on this aisle. Is this an incense burner? $2.99. That almost seems like fake wood. I don't think that's real wood. I think you're tricking me. Oh, right away I'm seeing something. What is this? Oh, a little mask. $3.99. It is a wall hanging. Interesting. Okay, when I see frames like this, I always hope that they're true vintage. I don't think these are. They are wood. Let's try to undig all of this business. Okay, there are eggs. Huh, seems like it's a copy. But this type of frame looks arts and crafts to me. Let's take a look at the back and see who made this, if we can get this out. My word. Okay, it's upside down. <laughs> of course it is. Make me struggle some more. $6.99, True Guard, True View. Okay, so this is the frame company saying that the frame, um, the frame's glass has UV light protecting qualities. Okay, hmm, eggs, kind of interesting. I think this might have been put out by like maybe Bombay Company, and there's two of them, in case one egg picture isn't enough. Here we have a little cup teapot. Don't think this is real copper, copper coated. 
Okay, I have definitely learned that these are yogurt cups. I picked up blue ones. I think I still have them. They never sold. But when I picked them up, I did not realize that they were yogurt cups. I kind of like these, though. These would be adorable. I'm going to set them up on a, on a shelf or a windowsill with little air plants in them. How cute would that be? Wouldn't that be cute, guys? And it's funny because I have never seen yogurt sold in these cups. Not sure who's selling them. But anyway, you get the idea. Oh, we're going to push these in. Okay, this is certified international. I do like the rooster bowls. I might give them a try if they weren't $3 a piece. And the plates are back there too. Oh, and the dinner plates. Hmm. Do we love thrifting? Yes, we do. Look at this handbag. Oh, this is good. The feet are a little worn. This definitely looks vintage. And what do they want for it? $6.99. I'm going to undo the locking clasp. Let's see if I can get this open with one hand. Okay, that's what the inside looks like. Hmm. I think my mom used to have a handbag like this. It's kind of cute. All right. I would rather have it have had a shoulder strap, but it does not. But I'm going to put that in the cart and give that some thought. I like the style of that very much. It's like a woven basket bag. Okay, I have to name things whether I know what I'm talking about or not. What else? Okay, I think that completes my brown aisle, except for this here. What is this? Oh, it is a drapery holdback or a drapery hardware. All right, I feel like I've missed some stuff. Did I miss anything? We'll probably go back down this aisle another time because I have been chatting with people. I might have missed some things. That's not a longer burger. It's not a Petersboro either. We are gonna peruse the green aisle. What is this vase here? I think this is modern. That is very pretty though. $6.99 is the new base price. Used to be $3.99. Some plates, kind of pretty. Threshold, which is Target. I guess their new price points are working. So good for them. If they can sell for higher, that is a great thing. Whoop. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, I like this. I don't know who's making this. Wood bottom. When you see a real wood bottom, <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, that's a sign of quality to me. Because most people, most companies are going to make the bottom out of like a, like a chipboard or a MDF or something like that. But this is beautiful. We're loving this. And I just dropped the plastic out of it. Thank goodness that wasn't glass. I am looking for the price on this. Am I looking right at this, guys? Very grateful that this is a plastic top. And it just sits right back in. Phew! Crisis averted. Okay, I don't see a price on this, but I'm going to put that in the cart. So pretty. Mmm, Coca-Cola bottles. The little ones. Those look contemporary. See, it has the barcode. So that tells me they're newer. Okay, am I seeing anything else? I am scanning. I have always shared with you guys when it, the shelves are crowded, I will read shelf by shelf from left to right. So you're starting at the left and reading it, then you go down and read it. That way it gives your eye chance to focus on what the high profit item might be. I am looking at this teapot here. And this is nobody. Kind of cute. Now, I did think it was cheaply made, but I always want to check this pattern, this checkerboard pattern. And I also see this. Huh, that's different. 
handmade. It's a handmade tile. Hmm. I'm not sure what to think about that. Okay, so a thing just happened. A cart came out. And I'm not even sure what I have in this. This is my casa in this batch. Kurt Adler. Little ornaments. I know, you would think that I'm over picking up Christmas stuff. We'll go over some of this, but my eye is drawn to this guy. Oh, be real wood. Oh. <sighs> that is my biggest heartbreak. Somebody spent all this time. This is really carved. And it's got a big chip. It breaks my heart. This is really good. I almost want to still take this. But that is too big a piece of damage missing. Ugh. Oh, goodbye, little owl. Now you could put him that way, but to sell him, you know, if it was for personal collection, maybe, but to sell, I don't want this bigger imperfection because that would be a return just waiting to happen. Somebody else might love him now with his imperfections. <laughs> okay, this is the black aisle. We've got some candle holders going on, but I'm gonna be in the holding pattern on stuff like that. Hmm. We've got some artwork up here. Okay, nothing good. Let's see this side. Paris. I never find anything on the black aisle. This is a candle holder made out of iron. How do you guys do? Do you guys who go thrifting find things on the black aisle? Leave a comment down below. I would love to know if you guys are buying from the black aisle and what kind of things you're finding. I think the only thing that I see people picking up are um, electronics. But all of this other black business, not so much. So while looking at hard goods, somebody rolled a rack of clothing out and we stopped to chat, a few of us, and oh, I am so rude. While we're chatting, my eye spots this from a mile away, Johnny Was. Do I want a Johnny Was top? Absolutely. Size small, wish it was a little bit bigger, but this thing is gorgeous. Look at that label. The whole label is embroidered. I am obsessed with this company. So pretty. This is going right in my cart. So turning the corner on the end cap, Royal Embassy, China. Ah, uh, so pretty. Look at that, it's translucent. So that must be like a bone China. So pretty. Wouldn't it be nice to have time just to sit around and drink tea? <laughs> okay, there is the creamer back there. What a pretty pattern. So delicate, $1.99 each for the cup. Everything is individual. You're killing me, Goodwill. Okay, is this a two-handled, is that for soup or like a consomme? I'm not even sure. Two-handled little teacups or consomme cups, broth. Okay, here's the sugar bowl. Four dollars, hmm. More pieces down here. Look how lovely the pattern is. All right, unfortunately, I'm going to leave this behind because who can afford to buy each piece individually? Just crazy, but so lovely. Okay, so I found 20 Baldwin brass switch plate covers at $3 a piece. So that's going to cost me $60. And back in the day, this would all be put in a baggie together. And you'd probably pay, I'm going to say $19.99 or something like that, which is more than fair. When I talked to the manager about it, of why they're not grouping like things together, because most likely somebody's going to want this for their house as a group, he said that the people in the back that are pricing them get credit for every item they sell. I think they get credit for the dollar amount. So it encourages the workers to put higher prices on things. But then, you know, they have to sell. So that's very interesting. Leave a comment down below if your Goodwill is pricing because they get credit for what sells through, the employees pricing it. Kind of interesting, but I'm leaving those because $60 is much too much for that. Okay, right next to it, a little Lennox something or another. Gonna leave that on the shelf. Hmm, what else are we seeing? Crowded shelves. 
So that either means there are more donations or things are selling slower. Now, anything that doesn't sell here, uh, glassware does not go next door to the outlet, but everything else does, I believe. We are on the end aisle, which is kind of like the lamp aisle. And I spotted these two, I'm gonna call them test tube glass vintage lamps. So interesting. So the base is glass, the ball is glass or the globe, and then the test tube and inside is a silver stem. You can tell they're vintage by the plug. So tempted to pick these up. Now they have no shades. I think I'm leaving them behind, but wow, very interesting. The test tube glass tube is etched with a pattern. Looks to be a floral pattern. I've never seen those before. I don't see any marking on them. Uh, Leviton. L-E-V-I-T-O-N, I think that says. I'm going to try looking those up. Really interesting, $5 a piece. So I did check glass ball lamps for Leviton, the vintage ones, and it seems like the green glass is the seller. Didn't see any clear glass but again, I think these are really cool, but I'm gonna leave them because I don't see any comps for them at all. We are taking a peek on the back aisle. Oh, it's a moldy rose in water. <laughs> Why would they even put that out? <laughs> so gross. Oh, little frog sitting on the shelf. Not especially old, $4. Oh, a baggie of crystals. I guess for lamps or sconces. That one's new, that one's old. Oh, looks like it has some good ones in it. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that blue. Okay, all kinds of crystals in a bag. I will probably sell this all together as a lot. See some raspberries. I think those are raspberries. Let's put everything back together and see what they want for the bag. I'm gonna have to find it. Whoops, another bag to put this into. Let's not forget these. All right, what are they asking? $4.99. We will gladly take that and put that in the cart. Okay, so the few candles and ornaments I had went back. I did run comps. This is interesting. Millennium Baby. This is by Spode. Made in England, $4 for a Millennium Baby plate. I don't know that anybody's going to want that. I'm probably going to put that back too. Okay, where should I put that? We'll put that right here. So what used to be good is not so great anymore. These are Starbucks Been There series mugs. Missouri, Nebraska, and Colorado. And they want $4 a piece for them, but probably only get 12 Now, if you find the university of these places, those can bring good money. All of the college and university mugs you want to look up, but most Starbucks mugs. Now, there are still some, but most of them aren't worth picking up. Okay, do we see who just came into the store? Waiting for him to see me. <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> Hi. So Roger was on the other side of the store and came towards me carrying a coat. And he was talking about something else. And of course, I'm staring at the coat. I think this is real. Look at that tag. Look at the quality of the tag. Look how this is stitched. I would think these buttons would be marked with the name. But the back buttons where the hood attaches should say Burberry. Okay, it's got quite a bit of damage on it, but look at the Novacek lining. This lining, this plaid is called Novacek. It's their iconic print for liners. Look at that, guys. Okay, I wonder if you could wear this inside out, cut the tags and just wear this with that side showing. Here is the tag, the duffel coating. You can be sure we're comping it. Now it does have damage. See this here? This is really well worn. Bet you it's on the other side. Yeah, here it is. I think this is still worth getting. That right there is moth damage. $14.25, but I think somebody's going to want this anyway. 
I don't see any major, you know, um, staining or big holes or anything like that. Yeah, I think this is definitely, I'm thinking you could probably pull 100 on something even with damage. We're going to look this up. What do you think, babe? Is that a good yeah. find? Hopefully. <laughs> What made you he grab must. this? Did you see the Novacek or? No, I just saw the tag. Oh, you did see the tag. Yeah. It's a shame it's damaged some. Yeah, what does the back look like? You can see the telltale. A little bit here. Yeah, and it's weird because moths usually eat the, the edges. They'll eat the, like, you know, around the rim of the collar or cuffs. Here it looks like they just ate everywhere, but I still think this is good. You buying it? You're putting this on. Yep, still, I would still get it. Yeah, that tag is just oh, I got it everything. You. you got this for me? Yeah. <laughs> is it my birthday? <laughs> it's my birthday. I am not taking this from you. You no, are keeping this I'm one. Not, no, no, you're listing this one, and if it sells for no, high, you take me out no, to dinner. <laughs> I still think it's good. I think even to cut this liner out and do something with it. Yeah, definitely worth 15 bucks. All right, guys, we're gonna look this up. Somewhere under this pile is a dress. Roger's doing clothing today while I do hard goods. So we're on opposite sides of the store. And Roger saw this. What did you see this just coming out? Yeah, she was holding it up. She said it was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and you spotted it without seeing the tag? Like, no, did you I, know no, the tag? I saw the tag. Okay. I saw the tag. This is the tag we look for, Jam's World. These always do well. Look at that. Look at that print. $7.99. I will take that. I'm thinking this will probably do at least 40 or 45 pockets. I always love a good pocket. Good find, babe. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks. I'm grabbing that from you. <laughs> did you get it for me or for you? <laughs> no, I got it for you. <laughs> You got a bunch of stuff I here. A bunch of stuff. Oh, I took sneakers I meant to put back. Some Legos. With Legos, we always check that the figures are in the box because if it's an open box, a lot of times people are taking out the figures and stealing them, unfortunately. So if you pick this up, right? Yeah. You always look for the yeah. little people. And what do you look for when you pick up pre-owned Legos? Um, sometimes, sometimes the bags are still sealed. Okay, Even the inner the box bag. is open, but this one isn't. Somebody just put it in a Ziploc. Zip so how do you know bag. that all the pieces are there? Um, you count them quickly? <laughs> <laughs> how many are supposed here's, here's to... Here's the, the original, original bag. bag. So maybe that's a good sign. How many pieces are supposed to be in there? Um, 304. Okay, start counting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll usually say there may be a few pieces missing. <laughs> Oh, okay, in your listing. Yeah, between yeah. the figures there, that's a good sign. So, okay. And thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. That oh. was very nice. <laughs> did you read them all? I think I did read all of them. <laughs> did you? Yeah. We'll have to keep reading them and read them out loud yeah. and have a good laugh. Some of you guys are so funny. Thank you guys for leaving birthday made me, greetings. Made me feel young. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to keep thrifting. I think that's it for filming though. Are we going to another store? I think so. Yeah, of course yeah. we are. <laughs> All right, guys, love you. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. In this part of the video, we are gonna pull shipping together. As you can see, I am fairly organized. I have my act together, which is great. I have pulled off the plastic and the covering for all of the clothing that is not yet packed down. Everything is in good shape, so hopefully this will go fairly quick because today is Sunday and I'm looking forward to watching a movie and laying on the couch. I have painted the floor partially. So if you guys remember, I talked about that every couple of years I like to give the floor a fresh coat of paint and I have started that project. So I just started midway from the tile this way and just did this quarter of the basement. Sometimes I have to do that because I'm moving the shelving a little at a time. All right, let's get going. I have my phone, my iced tea, and extra camera batteries. I'm gonna grab my phone so we can see what's sold. First item, Kate Spade Florence brought her skirt, size six. 
It is a geometric pattern. Skirts are down here. You guys know the routine. This is skirts, and I've also put the children's bin. I only have one children's bin because I don't sell a lot of kids' clothing, but we're going to pull the size 6 bin, which will be... Okay, so six is a small skirt, small prints. It's going to be in this bin. So I pulled the bin down. Oops, dropped a Talbot skirt. Let's see. Oh, I think this is it here. Yes, Kate Spade, Florence Broad skirt, size six. Okay, and did I say what that brought? I think I said $27. $27. And like usual, I will put the screenshots on the screen so you guys can see what the skirt sold for. Most times I'm paying $4.50 for a skirt, sometimes $4.99, and then an additional discount. That is item number one. Let's go to number two. Item number two, I just brought downstairs yesterday or the day before. I got this at an auction and I bought a group lot of paperweights, glass paperweights. So this is the item here, a green um, inside with a beautiful white floral. I don't know what this is called, but see how the bubbles are very controlled? That is so cool. Beautiful condition, $26 the buyer paid. Next up, Waverly and Williamsburg. It's a lot of valance curtains. It is a lot of five. I don't know if you guys are doing linens or not. $99.99 for curtains. So I'm going to look where my curtains are. They might be in here, but that looks like shower curtains. Up oh, drapes and curtains right in this bin. So I'm going to pop this. These are all of the curtains I have. Probably going to have to dig a little bit. Oh, these might be them here. All packaged, ready to go. Yep. Williamsburg and Waverly. Five curtain valances in a blue pattern. Now this is all packed with tissue paper. These have been washed and steamed. So I really try to send out a really nice condition item for people. So when they get it, they can just go ahead and hang them. They might have to steam them a little bit from the folds, but that's what it looks like. $99.99. And I want to say I paid under $10. <laughs> I don't remember. Sometimes for curtains, I'll pay $2.50 a curtain. Sometimes the Goodwills will put them on one hanger and charge you $2.50 for four of them. I think I paid $10 for the slot. Next up, I've had this for a while. It is KFC's Deep Sea Creature Chaser Fish. It was a Star Wars episode toy. So this is going to be in toys, which is right here. Probably too, yeah, way too heavy to lift with one hand. Now, when I'm not filming, of course, I can just pop that down. But I am holding the GoPro, so I'm going to have to put the camera down and pull toys. And here is the little box here. Bring this in the light. OPC Creature Chaser. And I think uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken gave these out. Should say it. I don't even know where. <laughs> it says KFC. Yes. Either Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, or KFC gave these out as prizes. And I think I picked up a large lot of those. $6.50. And like I said, I picked up a large lot. So I probably paid under a dollar for it. And I was probably interested in something else that was in that large lot. I don't imagine I would just pick up a group of those. All right, next up, Denim & Company Woman's 2X Chore Coat. <laughs> we are all over the place. From Star Wars Toys on to Coats. And this is a Woman's 2X Denim Chore Coat. So right now, I have to briefly look at what is not folded. This might be it here. Yeah, this is it here because I'm really getting backed up with items that aren't folded because Lisa is now listing for me. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my daughter Lisa is the one who edits this video. She's an employee and she comes in on Wednesdays and uh, does some of my photographing and now she's listing for me two days a week. So you guys are going to notice that this is going to get backed up. I might need a few more racks, but that's okay because once the craziness slows down, I will have more time to pack inventory. So the clothing here on all of these racks will get folded and put into this system. And that's how I've always done it. And you're going to notice I leave all of the bins out. Um, I've learned that lesson the hard way until everything is pulled. And then I put everything away. This one I think is staying out. Disney princess costumes. Okay, so that's what that's about. All right. So the chore coat brought $28. It's just a denim uh, with a collar. And 2X, really nice condition. Next up, Free People Carolina 
Hachi Oversized Stretch Knit Tunic. No idea where this is. I've really lost track at this point. All right. So I'm going to guess it's going to be on here because I think this is a fairly recent item. Um, am I getting closer? But I could have folded it. Just looking because this is where the women's tops are going to be either on this rack or it will be folded. All right, I'm going to check and we will see. I didn't see it on the rack, so I've pulled sweaters, small blacks and darks because there are a lot of shades of gray and black in it. Oh, this looks like it here. Free people. Sweater. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Let's see what that one brought. It brought $17.50. And I imagine I paid $4 for it. Okay, we have a long ways to go. So hopefully this will speed up. When I'm filming, it really slows things down. But I like to show you guys what I'm picking up and what is selling through. Oh, I just brought this one down. You know what? Let's pull this and put this over here for now. So we can see this rack. It is this longer burger basket. This is wall hanging with a leather strap. And where did I even get this? I have no idea. I think I got it at Goodwill. And it sold through $16. Next up is something I always talk about, Vanity Fair. These are the vintage velour women's robes. This one is an aqua color, $24.99. I think this is packaged. I've had this for a month or two, I think. So I'm just going to look at this back here and I don't see it here. All right. So we're going to come up this way. I'm going to make you guys dizzy and we are going to look in women's robes. I think that's it right here. Oh, need two hands. Okay. So here is this bin. Oh, here it is here. Vanity Fair size medium. These robes are were really popular in the 80s and the 90s. And they are like a velour wrap uh, women's robe. Vanity Fair put out a ton of these. And there is almost like a cult following for them. Women remember these. And um, I sell these through every single time. So if you're not looking for Vanity Fair or you're not recognizing it as a good selling through item, this does well for me as long as they're clean, you know, no holes or stains or anything. Women really want a nice one. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to find the ones new with tag. $25 and I paid $3.50. Next on the list is a North Face Men's Fleece. This is part of the North Face pick up. I go to North Face in the outlets and I will look for items on sale and then pick up everything the store has. So they are going to be in this men's fleece. I also did a large Tommy Hilfiger uh, retail arbitrage pickup. I might be able to pull this out with one hand and bring it in the light. The fleece is kind of light, so it makes it a little bit easier. All right. And I said North Face. Yep. North Face size large. Okay, so these are the North Face Fleece. These are all new with tags. We are looking for a size large, large, $40. And I believe I paid $12.74 for these. And how many did I get? I want to say I bought 15 or 20 of them. So that's what that looks like. New with tags. Really nice, especially for the holidays. Next up is Hog's Breath. It is a t-shirt, men's t-shirt. $15. I know you guys probably get dizzy. I like the walking back and forth. I don't know why. I can't tell you why, but that's just what I do. And they're either going to be in men's graphic t-shirts. I'm pretty sure they're in here. These are the colors. I also have graphic t-shirts for men's in darks, but since it's red, it's going to be in this bin. Okay, so I've pulled the red ones to the top to make it easier on myself. $15. This probably took a good, I'm going to say five or six months to sell. But you guys who have been with me for a while know I love selling long tail. Long tail means you're just loading your store with items that you're buying in low and you feel you can make really good profit and then you just wait for them to sell through. The only way you can make this really work, in my opinion, is if you have capital in the bank to buy more inventory, if you have space to store all of these items, and if you have the patience for them to sell. A lot of people say, why do you keep picking up items, Karen? Why don't you stop? Well, if you stop, then you won't be listing. If you don't list on eBay, your sales do slow down. I'm not saying that nothing would sell, but in order 
order to sell as much as I do, you have to keep on listing. No, I can take a break when I go on vacation or if I have a lot going on and I don't feel like thrifting that week, which almost never happens. Um, yeah, you can do that. Whereas if you just list like two or 300 and they sell quick, then you've got to start all over again. I hope that makes sense. This really works well for me. All right, we're going to go on to the next item. The next item up is a Christopher Robin Regenerating Hair Mask, Prickly Pear. And these are my smalls, like I always show you. I see it here, right here, under soap, shampoo, and body fragrance. So I do keep all of the small items in small bins. It just makes it easier to find. These two tables are for sale. Well, this is really a plant stand, and this is a um, an end table. I believe I picked these both up at the auction, and they have not sold yet, but I'm not worried about it. Sometimes I have a big piece for a while, and other times they sell through very quickly. Okay, so this is what it looks like, Christopher Robin. All cosmetics are always new, except for vintage perfume, which I've heard a rumor that eBay is going to stop allowing uh, used perfumes, even if they are vintage. I don't know about that. I haven't heard for sure, but I'll report back if I hear that. $24.99. This came, I think, in a FabFit Fun Box, and I got this for free. So there is that. Let's see what else. Yellow art glass. Oh, another paperweight. Okay, let me grab that one. I've lost my spot on my phone. Ah, my phone shut off. Okay, uh, vintage art glass paperweight. Yellow daisy, $49.99. And this is it here. I got this in the auction. This is one of the others Was that was in the... Uh, in the lot that I bid on. So now we have two going out. Next up is a vintage Asian, I called it a chopstick box. I wasn't sure what this box was used to hold. And I think this is it right here. I'm going to double check on it. So it's just like a little lacquered box with like a floral decoupage. And then when you open it up, it has um, little slots. So I'm thinking this is for pens and pen nibs, like a desk you know, for a desk set. Not positive about that. So see, you can sell things when you really don't know what you have. $19.99. All right, next up is a chipmunk purse. Talk about being all over the place. And this is in the purse bins. I have several purse bins. Let me just wheel this guy out of the way. I love everything on wheels, I always say. Oh, and I can see it from here. So this is Handbags Brown. I also have Multicolored and Dark. Thought I had another one. I guess that's it. I'm going to reach in. How cute is he? Holding a little net. <laughs> okay. Couldn't tell you what I paid for it. No idea. Not much. A couple of dollars. And $19.99. Next up is Jensen's Classic Car Stereo Speakers, $40, and they are right here. A lot of items that are in box, even if they're vintage, get put on this shelf. So I'm just going to move these guys further down and grab the Jensen speaker. I do remember finding this. It was in a Goodwill. I think I paid $6.99 or $4.99, and... $40. All right, next up is the Capi shell. Well, this one will be easy. It's right there. $45. So this is what Capi shells look like. I don't even know if I'm saying Capi is the right way. C-A-P-I-Z. And anytime I find these wind chimes or mobiles, I pick them up. This one did have a flaw. It is missing one of the flower ends but they always do well, and um, I imagine that's not too hard to replace with a simple shell or something just to complete it. All right, I'm going to pull that one down. Okay, I've organized the table a little bit to fit more items. Next up is a Philips Sonicare Power Toothbrush, $22. And <laughs> truth be told, I got this from my dentist. I already have two of these. I already use the Fairy Well, the Sonic Fairy Well, which I love. So I knew I was never going to use a third one brand new, of course, sealed in package. So I got it free from my dentist. Thanks, Dr. Richards. And, <laughs> and there it is, $22. I'm, I'm not kidding. I sell anything not tied down. Next up is a glass egg paperweight, another paperweight. 
All right, let's see if we can find it. This is all of the glass here, and I see it here. This is a little Halloween one with a jack-o'-lantern and just a scary little seascape and a ghost. How cute is that? All right, we're gonna put it with the paperweights. And it brought $23. Next up is an L.L. Bean men's flannel shirt. Now is the time to get those flannel shirts on. $24. And this is pre-owned, extra large tall. Always a good seller for the men to have some tall clothing in there. And this is going to be not in plaid dress shirts, but in plaid flannels button shirts. So it's going to be in here. We're going to pull this bin. Okay, so it wasn't in that bin after all. Still hanging on the rack, which means I haven't had it that long. Hello, Bean, extra large tall. This almost looks like a vintage to me. I'm not sure. I don't really have a lot of knowledge on the LL Bean tags. In a different life, I would be studying those tags, but that's not happening. I am just flipping items as quick as I can. And we're going to the next item, which is, I'm trying to do my phone, Oh, a sewing pattern, Vintage Oregon Treasures sewing pattern, $5. I picked up a large group of patterns and have been selling them through five bucks a piece. So I've made a lot of profit on those because I think I picked up 20 patterns in a baggie for $5 and all 20, um, I priced at $5 each. So we're gonna go into sewing and fabric patterns are in here. Okay, so that's what that bin looks like. Just a lot of patterns, a button holder. I have different um, lengths of like braided cord that I sell by the yard. I have fabric that way. But here is the pattern, the Oregon Trail Jacket. Look at this graphic. If this isn't 90s, I don't know what is. 90s, right guys? <laughs> Could be 80s. Look at those hairstyles. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You're creating a jacket with like different embellishments. $5, this must've cost me a quarter. Here is an item that I pick up every time I see it, unless it has big flaws. This is Victoria's Secrets Pink. That is the style name or the, um, whatever I want to say, the model name. Love Pink. I pick up these Velvet or Velour jackets. They're like track jackets if they have a lot of bling. This one is black with gold, and I think it is right here. So this is what it looks like. It has the little Victoria's Secrets Pink dog. And then on the back, big gold sequins. I'm going to bring this over here. Saying love pink. So if you can get these at a good price, these always sell for me. This one brought $28. So very easily recognizable in the stores. And I love finding these. I probably have sold, I'm going to say 30 of these in the past month or two. Always a good seller. And here is the Talbot's uh, cashmere sweater. Crew neck, $19.99. Okay, next up. This is going to turn into a very long video. Next up is a Gitman's Brothers pink dress shirt. It is striped button down. I should look on the racks, but I'm going to take a peek in here because striped shirts should be fairly easy to find. And if it's a pink one, I might be able to do it quickly. Let me pull this bin. Pink is always easy to find. Gitman Brothers, size large, button down. That is my sister's handwriting. She came to visit oh, a while ago and folded for me. <laughs> Everybody that comes in the house helps fold. Just kidding. Okay, so I'm going to stop pulling shipping here so that I can get all of this shipped out, you know, packaged, ready to go for tomorrow morning. And then tonight I will probably do the same thing and pull however many more come in. All right, guys, hit the like and subscribe. Go out and get what's yours.